Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, Scott? So, welcome to the much anticipated spiritual check in for the month. This month, um, I did give you guys an option to choose because uh, I didn't know if I wanted to do Ascension or a spiritual mission check-in. Many of you said you wanted Ascension and that was fantastic, but there was still a select few that said you wanted spiritual mission. And when I saw that, I internally I was kind of like, I, I really can't leave spiritual mission check-in out this time. Um, and so instead, what I decided to do was do a Ascension versus spiritual mission and see how we were mirroring in that sense. So welcome to Ascension versus Mission, guys, yeah? Um, I really hope you enjoy this. Um, I really hope it's helpful. If you would like a personal look into your situation when it comes to Ascension versus Mission, please hit me up. The, uh, this reading is available in the description box below. You can go ahead and email me and we can get you set up, yeah? Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, Divine Feminine, so let's just dive right in, shall we? All right, everybody settle in. Take a deep breath. Let's all connect. All right. Hey, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the Divine Feminine Collective. Please show us where the Divine Feminine is in Ascension, which is represented by the deck on the left, versus Mission, which is represented by the deck on the right. Please give us an accurate, accurate representation of the energies of the Ascension process and the energies of the Mission process, and please show us how they are interacting with each other and mirroring each other. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so let's get into the Ascension deck here. Just gonna shuffle this up a few minutes. Please excuse any noise you might be hearing. <laughs> I'm editing a video, the Twin Flame Weekly Reading actually, and the video might be a little choppy right now because of that. It's just gonna be like another 10 minutes. Don't worry about it, but just so you know, okay. Ascension, Ascension for the Divine Feminine. For the most part, I feel like it's going very well. Um, a lot of you have been really been able to acclimate, acclimate quite well um, with the Ascension symptoms. I really feel like, you know, this is pretty new for a lot of you in the Divine Feminine Collective. Not all. Um, I know by the time I got to like this stage in the journey, I was kind of aware of Ascension symptoms already myself. But for some of you, this was fairly new um, and you've been able to surmount it quite well. Um, once you started to realize exactly what was going on, you weren't freaking out so much. So when a symptom came, came up, you were like, oh, okay, that's just what's happening. Cool, let's move on. All right, Divine Feminine. One more shuffle for you, Ascension-wise. Okay. And we'll cut the deck. Excellent. So these energies are set. Let's shuffle the deck for Mission, for the Divine Feminine. Mission. Where are you on your mission, Divine Feminine, in relation to the Ascension process? I feel like mission energies might be on a little bit of a hold just when it comes to um, action, external action. Um, a lot of ascension is happening. A lot of downloads are being um, received. A lot of changes are happening, adjustments, attunements, and all that stuff. Um, and so you're probably feeling pretty exhausted. I know I have been lately. Um, and so it's funny because I feel like the devil just popped out while I was saying that. Please allow yourself the time to rest. 
Don't feel like you just have to keep going, keep going, keep going. If you're tired, then rest. Okay, there are a lot of activations happening, you know, so you don't really have to move forward if you don't feel like your body is saying, okay, let's do this. If your body is saying, uh, there's that devil again. If your body is saying, I just want to relax right now, I just want to do nothing right now, then allow yourself to do that, okay? Cool. You don't have to feel bad because you're not necessarily moving right now. And to be quite honest, um, all you really need to be doing right now is allowing their manifestations of what you really desire in your spiritual mission, in your career, in your life to be visualized right now. Allow your Kundalini energy to rise up and once it hits your crown chakra and your third eye, visualize what it is you want. Use this restful period to get your visualizations in order. Yeah? 444 on the counter. Last shuffle for you, Divine Feminine, in regards to mission. Okay. Here we go. Cutting the deck. All right. We're going to start with Ascension, which is this Arcanum deck. Overall energies, when it comes to Ascension for you, Divine Feminine, we're starting you with the lovers in reverse. My, my. What I'm picking up here for the lovers in reverse, part of your ascension process right now is understanding that you don't need external validation. You don't need outside union. Union is within. So part of your ascension process right now is accepting union within. Okay? you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You also got the mission in re I'm sorry, the magician in reverse. And you've got the Page of Cups. And it's so funny because this is already mirroring a lot of the energies that are going on with um, in the Two in Flame Collective and the and messages that came out for that reading that I did for this week. Um, the Magician was a flyer for the Divine Feminine. And it came out reversed. Part of your ascension process right now, Divine Feminine, is understanding yourself better with the Page of Cups. Coming to a greater understanding of yourself. And coming to a greater understanding of what you have manifested in your physical reality. Okay? First of all, with the lovers here, this is talking about codependent relationships, toxic relationships, uh, relationships rooted in vice instead of virtue. Okay? Um, this could also be family situations with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, releasing family situations. And not being in a position to manifest things like this anymore. Because you've learned your lesson here. And in learning your lesson, you've come to a greater, deeper understanding of who you are on a much deeper emotional level. And so you can actually release these things. You can release the codependency. You can release the need to have your divine masculine in your life. Fully letting go. Just letting go completely. Not working towards manifesting that anymore. Instead, focusing on yourself and, and, and getting to the point where you can now work on manifesting what you want for you. What makes you truly happy? That is a huge step ascension wise. Because ultimately when you get deeper and more in tune with yourself, you're also getting more, more in tune with source, with God, creator, with that which has filled you with life and passion to begin with. And living your life from that place instead of the place of your ego, which would be the magician in reverse, right? Yeah, sure would. Okay. Excuse me. Current energies, when it comes to ascension, we, excuse me, we have excellent, the Ten of Wands in reverse, releasing the burdens, coupled with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Redefining what you're actually working for. Is this truly what I want? This is like not spinning your wheels anymore for things that are just burdensome, tiresome, needless, unnecessary, I'm hearing. 
Like, finally having the balls to... <laughs> Well, yeah, but finally having the balls to just let some shit go. Standing in your strength, Divine Feminine. Having the strength to say, no, I don't actually want this anymore. I don't want to carry this anymore. This is not my problem. <laughs> this is not my problem. It's yours. you got to do something with it. Do it. I'm not doing it anymore. Excellent, Divine Feminine. Second set of current energies we have. Ooh, the king of pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of reversals here because there's a lot of release going on. King of pentacles in reverse is coupled with, whoops, my, my, the five of pentacles in reverse. And then the devil just wanted to fly out. But that's not current energy. That is a current challenge. That's part of the current challenge right now, but I'll get to that in a second. King of pentacles in reverse and the five of pentacles in reverse. Releasing your divine masculine. Releasing the pain around feeling left out in the cold. Why? Because now you're starting to understand that no one can really leave you out in the cold but yourself. And so when you were in those energies of like feeling abandoned, neglected, you did not realize that you never, you, you aren't abandoned. Because you, your divine masculine is also within you. You are always connected with your divine masculine. But in the physical sense, releasing the attachment, releasing the neediness too. You can, I can see the five pentacles as kind of being needy sometimes. That's what I'm picking up right here. Needing that validation from your divine masculine. That's absolutely part of your ascension process. And then we get into your current challenge. We have the devil. Source says this is fighting against the establishment, standing up to the devil. The devil is coupled with, wow, the three of pentacles in reverse. The only card that is upright right now is the devil. And that is only because the devil is the only thing that will stand in your way and try to get you off your path. The three of pentacles is re in reverse coupled with the devil is the devil trying to get you not to master yourself, not to work on self-mastery, not to work on cooperation, not to work towards unity. So in your ascension process, you've got the devil staring you right in the face trying to get you off your path, but that's not going to work if you don't let him. Upcoming energies for you, ascension-wise, Divine Feminine, we have. Well, isn't that beautiful? The Four of Wands, upright. This is union. But this is also union within yourself. Just like I was saying with the lovers in reverse there. Instead of focusing on union in the, in the physical, in, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, releasing the need, the releasing the desire, the need to manifest union in the physical, Instead, focusing on union within. Four of Wands is coupled with, wow, the Seven of Cups in reverse. You're damn right there's no more confusion. There, you don't, there, there are no, no, there is no confusion anymore. You have got this. You have got union within. Union starts within. I love that, Divine Feminine. And that's just on the ascension side. Okay, okay. <laughs> Excellent. So now let's get into the mission. What's going on with mission for the divine feminine? Overall energy. We've got the three of wands. Okay. So yes, you're very much in a place right now, divine feminine, where you are waiting for ships to come in. You've done a lot of the preparatory work. Now you can actually stand or sit, rest a little, and allow things to develop on their own, okay? We've got the lovers, bam, mirroring, guys, and the lovers is up right here. What this is telling me is you have made sufficient decisions in order to follow your path. You have made the right choices, taken the right steps, done the right things to make sure that your mission is going off to a good start. Maybe even a great start. Why? Because you chose virtue over vice, Divine Feminine. 
And let me tell you, this devil energy is pissed the fuck off. Because you have chosen self-mastery instead of codependency. You have chosen sovereignty instead of being a puppet. Hell yeah, guys. We've got the Ace of Swords also. you damn right we've got the Ace of Swords because the Divine Feminine knows exactly what she's doing, where she's going, and why. She may not know exactly where, but she has a good idea of where she wants to go. But she knows why she's doing it, and she knows she's going to. This is the truth. And it's not even like you really need to do anything to convey this truth, Divine Feminine. All you gotta do... Mm, mm, mm. All you got to do is sit in your power, honey, with the Queen of Cups. More mirroring from this weekly reading that, that is coming out in conjunction with this video. Because the Queen of Cups was in your overall energy, Divine Feminine. Started you off with your overall energy. All right. <clears throat> this is knowing, this is sitting on your throne, not really saying much, knowing your emotional power, keeping your emotions to yourself. Why? Because you've got this devil lurking around. And it's not like you've done anything to get this devil to lurk around other than be here and be on mission. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so, whatever. All right. Current energies when it comes to mission. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. So there may be some struggles right now. This could be the energy of um, being exhausted and wanting to move forward. This could be the energy of feeling like things are kind of going wrong and your ships are never going to come in. But you have the Three of Wands here is upright in your overall energy. Things are coming in, okay? You may be going through a situation right now that's kind of a blessing in disguise when it comes to your mission. You may have dealt with some setbacks. But ultimately, this is, why, this is why they're a blessing in disguise. Ultimately, those setbacks serve to teach you more. To help you redefine things for yourself in a much better way so that you can be, have greater success in the future. Six of Wands in reverse is coupled with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Very interesting. Now, in relation to Ascension also, you kind of feel like you're blocked right now. But that's, a lot of that is because of the changes that are happening. See, the energy is here, Divine Feminine. The energy of you being the torchbearer, your energy in the Queen of Wands, and the success in the Six of Wands is here. It's just, it's a little blocked at the moment. Why? Because of all the ascension that is happening. Because of all the changes that are happening. I don't see this as a bad thing, Divine Feminine. I just see this as rest is what I just heard. It's on hold for the moment. It's just on hold right now. But you have this in escrow. Okay? Second set of current energies when it comes to mission. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Cycles. Changes are happening. Divine timing. You just got to be patient with it, Divine Feminine. Coupled with... Wow. The Knight of Swords in reverse. So this change is also bringing about a change in perspective for you, Divine Feminine, in the sense that you don't have to just charge in like that. Or this is also saying this is not the time to charge in. This is the time to sit back and allow the wheel to turn, allow the cycles to come to an end. Prepare. It is not time to charge forward right now. It is time to prepare, Divine Feminine. Because you still have this energy right here, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. This is you. Okay? Current challenge when it comes to mission. We have the Nine of Swords. Anxiety. Yeah. And this could be an energy of not really knowing what to do. You might still be confused when it comes to your mission. But I don't think so. I think this is more an energy of how do I do this? Why is it not starting? Why can't I do this right now? Six, uh, I'm sorry, Nine of Swords is coupled with the Seven of Swords. My, my. Current challenge. Well, especially since it's falling right under the devil. There could be some situations where things might have been stolen from you. Ideas might have been stolen from you. You might be afraid of that. You might be afraid of missing out on an opportunity.
you might be feeling this energy of the devil staring you down, trying to get you off path. And that is causing anxiety around losing out, being stolen from. Finally, uh, upcoming energies when it comes to mission, Divine Feminine, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, no longer being decisive, no longer being in a stalemate, um, no longer being blinded to the situation, coupled with the Nine of, so Nine of Wands reversed. Interesting. Aha, excellent. This is an energy of no longer needing to defend yourself, no longer feeling like you need to fight against people that don't necessarily agree. If they don't agree, that's fine. That's their problem. It doesn't even have to be a problem. If they don't agree, they don't agree. That's cool. We all have our own mission here. We all have our own life, our own form of expression. So, hey, go with it. Okay. This is really good. So the only mirroring, the only mirroring within these cards, these two decks right here is the lovers, which is actually pretty significant when you think about it. Because the energy of the lovers, this union with self, is what's driving this whole thing. So there you go. The lovers is also talking about the twin flame situation. So even though in your ascension process right now, Divine Feminine, you are releasing codependency when it comes to your Divine Masculine in the physical. And look at how, how many pentacles came out for... Um, the ascension process, because the ascension process is actively integrating the spiritual reality into the physical. But even though you're releasing this, it's the divine masculine is still an element to the situation. But then we also got mirroring in terms of the weekly reading, too, which is really cool, actually. All right, so let's get some oracle guidance here for the Divine Feminine. I'm going to get uh, three cards. Yeah, three cards, please. Okay. All right, three cards, Divine Feminine. Here we go. Please, Spirit, three cards for the Divine Feminine in relation to this reading. Oracle guidance, best messages, please. Best messages for the Divine Feminine. Best messages for the Divine Feminine to claim collective. Three cards, please, Spirit. One more, please, Spirit. One more, please. Here. there it is. Excellent. This has come out for the Divine Feminine in the past. Hold your center. Card number 34. Boils down to a seven. We have reassurance of the golden light. And we also have, ha <laughs> yes, unplug from mass consciousness. Okay, so unplugged from mass consciousness is a message in relation to ascension. Uh, reassurance, reassurance of the golden light is a message in relation to mission. And, 30, and uh, hold your center is just an overall message from spirit. So unplug from mass consciousness. Card number seven. 34 boils down to a seven. 36 boils down to a nine. Okay. There is a belief system based on fear, doubt, and distrust that is known as mass consciousness. It says it's, e it's safer to stay with the crowd, not to question what you have been taught. It says you cannot trust the divine to take care of your financial well-being or your emotional needs. It says you should be afraid and not take risks. 
It says that if you dare to stand up and live your truth, you'll be lost and alone, humiliated, rejected, or even destroyed. You are being guided to unplug from that system of beliefs. You are capable of, of a more creative, loving, and soul-satisfying way of living. To access this, let go of the way that is too small for your soul. <clears throat> that is absolutely what is happening here with the Divine Feminine, especially with this devil and the Three of Pentacles in reverse being your current challenge when it comes to ascension. Booyah, guys. Look at that. Okay, in terms of mission, we have reassurance of the golden light. The golden light comes to you as a gift of grace and reassurance. It is an embrace from the universe, an expression of divine comfort and a sign of hope. When the golden light appears, it is a sign that everything in your life, even the most troubling matters, is going to work out perfectly. They are held in the grateful, in the, I'm sorry, the graceful hand of the divine and will be resolved more swiftly and beautifully than you might expect. Wow, 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 which is exactly what is coming out here. There's no need, there's no need to charge forward, divine feminine. Just let the divine help you. Let divine timing take its course. Let the cycles end, come full circle on their own. You don't have to do anything else right now with the king of, with, I'm sorry, the, the queen of wands and the six of wands in reverse. You don't have to do much else right now. It's in escrow. It's coming. You've done, you've done the work with the three of wands. You've done it. There's going to be more work to do, yes, but at this moment in time, let yourself rest. Allow yourself to integrate with this unplugging of mass consciousness. Allow these upgrades, these downloads, these, this integration to happen. Give yourself some time to rest and heal. And in the meantime, while all of this is happening, hold your center. Card number 34. Have you been rushing in to meet, I'm sorry, have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, firmly place your feet there, and do not move. Feel, the, feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. You are learning to trust your own instincts, to take your own journey without comparison to the life of another. There is no need to be dis dis become disheartened or distracted by comparisons or judgments. The earth needs your light, which can only come from you. You will offer so much less if you, yes, if you try to make it match your beauty to what you perceive to be the beauty of another. Again, I'm hearing very strongly from the, from the divine, allow your integration to happen. Just allow the integration to happen, divine feminine, okay? But you got this. It's all going very well. It's all moving in your favor. And that's exactly what the Wheel of Fortune is saying here. Everything is moving in your favor, okay? Excellent. There it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like a personal, like a one-on-one -on -one, um, reading like this, it's absolutely available. Don't hesitate to hit me up for that. Yeah? Okay. I hope this is helpful. Much love to you guys, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Mwah. Bye.